Hello, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to talk about probability. This is unit uh, four in the uh, course principles of engineering. Um, this unit includes probability uh, and statistics, but today our topic is probability. So probability is the calculated likelihood that a given event will occur. So we're talking about a calculated, so it's kind of uh, math or arithmetics uh, that we're going to learn uh, how to calculate. Uh, for example, what is the probability that a die will, when you roll a die, it will land uh, on the number one or on the number six, or will show an even number? What is the probability that it's going to rain today? Uh, and so on and so forth. Probability is almost in every uh, discipline and field. Um, of science, um, uh, natural science, um, and uh, all, uh, basically everything, including uh, economics, including um, business, um, and every field has uh, has uses probability in this way or another. Okay, so um, we have the, the methods to determine probability are empirical, which means observation. We make <clears throat> an experiment and we see what is the result. Theoretical, <clears throat> sorry. When we have a coin, uh, we can toss a coin and we know that uh, it's either heads or tails. So we have uh, a 50-50 chance. When you roll a die, the chance for each number, we'll learn how to calculate it in the next slides, but the chance or the probability for each uh, number to show is uh, one over six, one out of six. Uh, so here we have a theoretical, which means we, we can tell uh, what's going to happen when you roll the Wheel of Fortune and, uh, and each segment has covers the same area. When you, uh, when you toss a coin, when you roll a die or dice. Uh, but empirical is something that you don't know. Imagine that you throw a, um, a pushpin. So a pushpin looks like more or less like this. Okay, it is most likely that the pushpin will fall either on the side, if this is the floor, or, uh, or this is the surface, or like that. Okay, one of these, um, one of these options. But in this case, um, it's very hard to tell which is which. So we have to conduct an experiment or to do observation. We throw uh, a pushpin. Um, maybe 1,000 times, and then we see how many times it falls this way, how many times it falls this way, and I'm just making an assumption, let's say that this was 300 uh, out of 1,000, and that was 700 out of 1,000, then I know that the probability here is three. If, if you reduce that, it's, we're going to get three out of 10, and here we're going to have seven out of 10, or 0.3 or 0.7, uh, or we can talk in percent, we'll talk about it uh, later. So this is empirical uh, probability. You have to see observation. You have to see what happens in order to be able to uh, to tell. Uh, and subjective is, I think that, I feel like, and uh, it's not really um, calculation or any mathematical probability, but sometimes it's out of experience. Um, or again, it's it based it is based on your feeling or thoughts that are uh, immediate thoughts and not um, not really uh, based on any calculation. Um, okay, so uh, the components that we have in probability: the experiment, an activity with observable results. So, for example. Uh, we'll see the example later. Uh, sample space, a set of all possible outcomes. The event is a subset of, a, of the sample space that we had here. And the outcome is the, the result uh, of the experiment. So let's see an example. Uh, what is the probability of a tossed coin landing heads up? So the experiment is we toss a coin. This is the experiment. The sample space, remember, let's go back to the definition, a set of all possible outcomes. So here we have only two possible outcomes, and this is the head uh, or tails. So this is the sample space. We have heads or we have uh, 
tails. Okay, this is a set. Usually, we we can put a set in curly brackets. So uh, this is the this is our sample space. This is a probability tree. We'll talk about it uh, a little bit later. The event. Uh, now here, what is the probability of a toss coin landing heads up? So the event is landing heads up. Okay, the coin the coin landed uh, heads up. And the outcome is just a uh, visual representation or the result in number um, or anything like that. It looks like it's the same as the event, but this is, um, this is again, a visual representation or a number uh, that we can see. Sometimes the event uh, you will see when we have uh, more complicated or complex uh, situations to calculate probability, the event is not the outcome. So. Uh, uh, it doesn't look the same. Um, so again, the event here, remember, it's a subset of a sample space. A subset is a, I'm sorry, a subset is a set that includes part or all uh, the, the items uh, or the elements in the, in the original set. So here, our subset will be heads. So, um, so again, the probability is a way of communicating the belief that an event will occur, and sometimes it's not a belief, okay? It's sometimes it's calculated, it's fact. Uh, but again, when you roll a, um, uh, when you roll a die, uh, the probability that it will land on one uh, is one out of six. But it doesn't, it doesn't mean that if you roll it six times, it will, you will get one. Sometimes you'll get uh, six, six land, six, six times it will land on five and you will never get one. So, but either way, it's not a belief. Okay. It's, uh, if we're talking about belief, it will be here. Okay. The subjective, but, uh, I wouldn't call it a belief. I will call it a calculated, um, um, a calculated result or something which is more based on, on facts or observation. Uh, it is expressed as a number between 0 and 1. It can be expressed in a fraction, for example, 3 fives, 3 fifths, uh, in a percent. In this case, it's going to be 60%, a decimal, 0 0.6, or the odds, 3 to 5. Okay, either way, uh, it works. But if you want to do math um, in when you have complex events of probability, probably you want to use either um, fractions or decimals and not percents. Percents are going to be a little bit uh, tricky and also ratio. So better if you want to do the math to calculate complex events of probability, you probably want to use fractions or uh, decimals. Um, okay, so first, it's a number between zero and one. Zero means it will not happen. It cannot happen. can, will, will never happen. For example, I roll a die, a di regular die that has the number one through uh, six, and I'm asking you what is the probability that the uh, result will be greater than nine. So this is impossible with one die, um, and, um, and the probability in this case is zero. One, it will definitely occur or happen. Uh, so, for example, same case, I roll a die and I'm asking what's the probability that the result is going to be less than 10. Obviously, it's going to be 1 through 6, so it's going to be less than um, than 10. So, this is 0, this is 1, and for anything in between, uh, you get all the decimals between 0 and 1, all the fractions between 0 and 1, And uh, but it can never be a negative number, it can never be greater than 1. There is never... 200% uh, uh, probability. So, um, so it's always the, the most. If it happens, it's 100%. But there, are, there is kind of um, figurative talk that people are saying 200%, 1,000%. Uh, I'm sure 1,000%. But there is never sure more than 100%. It means that it will happen. Um, okay. 
let's continue relative frequency. So the number of times an event will occur divided by the number of uh, opportunities. So this is the relative frequency. This is the number of times that the event will uh, events with outcome X. And this is the total number of events. If you already learned probability in pre-algebra or algebra uh, one, uh, then probably you know this, uh, this formula, but maybe you didn't use these uh, symbols, uh, frequency or, uh, or anything like that. So you might have used P here for probability, and, but, but it's, the same, uh, it's the same thing. So again, it's expressed as a number between zero and one. We went over that. We can write it as a fraction, percent, decimal, or odds, a ratio. Um, and total frequency uh, of all possible events totals one. So what does it mean? What is the probability? We have a, 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 a die. So the, the result for dies are one, two, three, four, five, or six. And what is the probability that it's going to land on uh, either of these? Uh, it's definitely going to happen. If I'm asking what's the probability that's going to be one or two or three or four or five or six, then definitely it's going to happen. So the probability in this case is one. Um, what is the probability of a toss coin landing heads up? So let's see how we calculate that using the equation. Obviously, you know the answer. Okay, you know that it's half, you know that it's 50%, um, or we say 50-50, uh, but let's use this equation to see um, to see how we calculate it. So here we have, uh, we toss our coin and we have two options. This is the probability uh, tree, and we have only one event. We, uh, we toss the coin once. So we have either heads or tails. So uh, the total amount of events that we have is two, possible outcomes is two. And we're looking for only one of them, which is heads. So uh, the desire, desirable outcome is heads. And this is one out of the two. And our probability is half or 0.5 or 50% or um, one to two. That's the, these are the odds. Or the, or the ratio. Um, usually you have to choose only one number. You don't have to show all work unless you're asked to. If, if you have a worksheet and uh, in the worksheet, the instructions tell you uh, to show your result in both decimals and percents, then you have to show both. If it tells you to, if the instruction is to, to show all four uh, options, then you have to show all four of them. But if there are no instruction, you can choose uh, your own number. And again, better choose uh, either fraction or decimal, but any other answer is acceptable. If it's a multiple choice, then you need to know sometimes the answer will be in a ratio and this will be the correct answer and all the others will be, uh, might be in uh, in decimal, and but, but these will be the wrong answer. So you need to know your answer in all uh, four methods, but uh, if not required, then you have to show your answer only in one method if you have to calculate something and show work. So let's see a, an event which is a little bit more complex. So what is the probability of tossing a coin twice and it's landing heads up both times? How many desirable outcomes uh, we have? How many possible outcomes? So first, this is our first toss. We have two options. For each one of these, we have another toss, which means we have another option. And what you see here, this is the sample space. Uh, this is the sample space. And uh, if I want to write it as, uh, as a set, I'm going to write it like, uh, like that. I'll write it here. So we have heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, and tails, tails. So it looks either like that or like that. If we require to, to write down the sample space, it's either this way or this way. Um, okay, so uh, how many desirable outcomes we have? We have one desirable outcome, and this is it, because they're asking for its landing heads up both times. 
only in this branch heads heads it will end heads both times here we have heads tails tails heads and tails tails so this is we have one desirable outcome we have four possible outcomes for the, the possible outcomes are the number of elements in the sample space we have one two three four elements one two three four so we have four possible outcomes and the answer here will be one over four or point 0.25 or um uh 25 percent or one two four here i'm showing you all four options but as we proceed I'm going to skip options. Sometimes you will see that it's going to be too complicated to calculate it in uh, fractions because we get in decimals and decimals that are not simple decimals and you don't want to convert them to uh, to fractions or ratio, the, uh, also to ratio. It's always easy to get it in, uh, to convert from a decimal to percent. You just move the decimal points to uh, uh, two uh, spaces to the right. Okay, let's see another example of complex, uh, more complex probability. What is the probability of tossing a coin three times and it's landing heads up exactly two times? Okay, this is the desirable outcomes. Outcome exactly two times. So here we have, uh, the, again, this is the probability tree and we have our sample space. This is all options. So we have heads, 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 or heads, heads, tails or heads tails heads and so on and so forth all the way down um so we have in total one two three four five six seven eight uh possible outcomes for these three tosses of the coin eight possible outcomes and now we we're talking about exactly two times uh heads up exactly two times okay so we're looking for results that have exactly two ages in them, okay? Twice the letter H, here we have three, not good. This one is good. Here we have H, T, H, good, good, and that's it, okay? So we have heads, exactly heads up, uh, exactly two times. So we have, again, two here and tails, two here, two here. What if they don't use the word exactly two times? it means that we have to count this uh, case as well. Why? Because if I ask you if you have $2, but you have three in your pocket, you will not tell me, no, I don't have $2, okay? If I ask you, do you have exactly $2? The answer might be uh, no, but here they say exactly two, uh, two times uh, landing heads up. So we have to uh, count the exactly. And again, if the ex word exactly is not there, we have to count this one as well. So we have three desirable outcomes, and this is going to be our numerator, and this is uh, this is the answer. So uh, three over eight, it is uh, three point point. I'm sorry, three seventy five or thirty seven point five percent, or the ratio is three to eight. Okay, so these are. Uh, the four possible outcomes. I did this uh, fast, but you can just use uh, the calculator and do three divided by eight, and you get 0.375. So you don't have to do uh, mental math, but it's good if you try. Okay, it's good if you use the calculator as less as possible. 